Good morning, dear students of class 12. Welcome to the English online learning class. Today, we are going to further continue with our revision. Expectations of parents from children. Aging, pain, fear of separation. Well, now it would be very evident that we are taking the poem, the very first poem from Flamingos, and that is My Mother at 66 by Kamala Das. A brief about the poet. Kamala Das was born in Kerala. Her works are known for originality, versatility, and flavor of the soil. She has published many novels and short stories. And she was a sensitive writer who captured the complex subtleties of human relationship. So let us start our revision. Now, the theme of this poem is, it's a touching poem written by Indian poet Kamla Das, who wrote under the name Madhava Kutti. And in this poem, she describes her feelings of love and attachment towards her aging mother. The poem revolves around the theme of advancing age and the fear that adheres to its loss and separation. It's a sentimental account of mother's approaching end due to old age, as seen through the eyes of the daughter, that is, the poetess. This seemingly short poem touches upon the theme of filial blah bond between mother and daughter. It is smeared in the backdrop of nostalgia. How she remembers her old childhood fear, the familiar old fear, and the fear of losing her mother, of being separated from her mother. The nostalgia of the past, the time spent with the mother, and the fear, fear of future without her. So let us work on this poem again. Driving from my parents' home to Cochin last Friday morning, I saw my mother beside me. The poet is driving from her mother's home, her parents' place, to Cochin. Last Friday morning, she is heading for the airport. Her mother is beside her. And as she watches her mother, who's dozing, means sleeping, half sleep, not sound sleep, open mouth, with her mouth open, her face is like ashen, pale, ash-colored, there is loss, the face the doesn't look healthy. It reminds her of a corpse, dead body. And then she is full of pain. The thought of her mother's advancing age fills the poet with pain that she was as old as she looked. She's reminded of her mother's advancing age and probably the fear of being separated by her, from her mother by the cruel jaws of death. But then she tries to put that ugly, agonizing thoughts away from her mind, which is a human tendency, and looked at the young trees sprinting and merry children spilling out of their homes. The poetess tries to distract her mind from these unpleasant thoughts and she looks at the young green trees outside the car. They are sprinting, they are moving, they are running at a fast pace. Actually, the trees are not running. It is the car that is moving and the very children, they are spilling out, they are rushing out in numbers out of their homes for games. Now it is a welcome change to the poetess. Seeing their joyousness, their vitality, which is a contrast to the scene inside the car. That is 
the aging visage of her old mother. There is pain. There is fear of death. There is old age. There is pessimism. Negativity inside the car. Fear. Agony. Whereas outside the car, the trees sprinting, merry children spilling, full of energy, youth, enthusiasm, which helps the poet immensely and drives away her sad thoughts and she feels better. But after the airport security check, standing a few yards away, I looked again at a van pale as a late winter's morning. The poet reached the airport, was occupied with a security check, but once she was free, she saw her mother again standing a few yards away. She looked at her wan pale face, her colorless pale face, and again she was reminded that her mother is old and weak, and she couldn't help comparing her to a fading, dying moon, winter moon, which has lost its vitality, its color, and once again felt that old familiar ache, my childhood's fear. But all I did was, see you soon, Amma. All I did was smile and smile and smile. Now, in fact, it was not a new feeling. It was an old familiar ache ever since her childhood. She had feared losing her mother, but she could not let her know now what she was feeling inside. As she stands there, she puts up a brave front by hiding those fears behind her smile, her put-on smile. And with a bright smile on her face, she tells her mother that she hopes to see her soon and finally bids goodbye. Probably she has sensed her mother's fears also. And she doesn't want this fear should be shown on her face. So she puts up a brave front and hides her fear with her artificial put-on smile and encouraging words, see you soon, Amma. And this is how this moving, sentimental poet ends poem ends. If you look at the structure of the poem, it's a short poem without a full stop. The poem is like a long sentence overflowing thought process. The poet uses the device of comparison, contrast, simile and repetition. Now let us look at the poetic devices. Simile, a comparison between two things by using as or like, her face ashen like, that of a corpse, as a late winter's moon. Metaphor, direct comparison of two things without the use of as or like, the merry children. Personification, when we give human characteristics to animals or plants or non-living things. Trees, printing, anaphora. It's a repetition of words or phrase to create a poetic effect in the poem. The poet repeats these words, smile and smile and smile. Alliteration, repetition of consonant sounds in a line of a poem. My mother, that thought I said was to see you soon. So we've taken up the revision of this poem. Study material related to the poem has already been posted in your GCR along with assignment. So watch the video, go through the reading material, Study material based on this poem and work out on the assignments. Thank you. Have a nice day.